Hi guys, it's Riki here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rike and I review a lot of active works. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have a little buff bunny haul for you and little is good. We do have a few pieces. This is the bigger buff bunny collection, boyfriend collection haul. So their boyfriend collection came out on March 2nd. I was supposed to get this package before so I could review this for you guys. And yeah, so today it's March 23rd. I picked it up from the <laughs> package store on the 21st of March. Yes, exactly. So yeah, it took a while. Um, it was sent with normal post, so USPS, and then I think it somewhere got lost in Turkey for a little bit for some reason. You know, I've never got seen anything that went from the US to Europe go through Turkey. So, and it's also was like a few days for that to update there. So uh, in a few days, I mean like a full week, 10 days, something like that. So I think something went wrong somewhere and it wasn't supposed to take this long at least. But I still think, you know, probably would have, you know, probably would have taken still longer, even if it hadn't gotten lost somewhere in Turkey. So yeah, but like it was weird. I, I don't really know what was going on, but you know, this is what we're dealing with. It has finally arrived. I'm excited to try out these new pieces. You might have already seen my um, small Buffany collection boyfriend haul from the pieces that I uh, bought myself uh, because I wanted those anyway. And I'm going to link that video up there just to kind of complete, you know, the whole boyfriend collection. And so the boyfriend collection, as I already mentioned, launched on March 2nd. So maybe a few of you bought from this. Maybe you didn't because you were holding off for brighter colors because the color palette was definitely a little bit more mute. Um, we had a lot of like new tones, a little bit of like light pinks, browns, that kind of stuff. But it matched perfectly well with the um, with the Genesis collection we got earlier in the year. So the idea there was that you could easily mix and match pieces from different collections. And I get that, you know, it's good to be able to do that and that they're trying to like be a little bit more mindful of that. But I also get the want for brighter colors, so I'm really ready um, and happy to see what's in store next for us. Uh, I'm sure we'll get an announcement soon, or maybe by the time you watch this video, I'm assuming something will have already been announced. Maybe not, but bright colors are coming. So, you know, I'm excited for that. And we also now just got a restock, or like I said, depending on when you see this video, um, we got a restock, or we will be getting a restock, probably got a restock on some pieces in the Seven Deadly Sins collection. So I'm waiting for two pieces to arrive here as well. Uh, but you'll be seeing them in a future YouTube video. I'm assuming it's, it's a future video, you know. <laughs> it's really hard sometimes to know when, which video is coming out when, but no, it's a future video for sure. Um, I hope those pieces won't take as long though. So yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed for that. And otherwise, maybe I should get started because this intro has been quite long. Um, quick heads up also. So yes, Buff Body Collection did send me these pieces and you can use my code Rike to get 10% off your purchase uh, with Buff Bunny Collection. But I will still be very honest with you and tell you my honest opinion opinions. It just happens to be like so that I do like Buff Bunny Collection pieces quite a lot. And um, yeah, I have I don't actually remember too much what I ordered from this collection, but I know that I was trying to go a little bit out of my comfort zone, try a lot of the newer pieces. So, you know, because if I keep reviewing legacy leggings for you guys, you know how I feel about legacy leggings. So, like, you know, that's not really helpful. <laughs> so I, I really tried to pick some pieces I had never tried before, new pieces, and that they came out with because we did see a lot of new pieces in this boyfriend collection. But I have a faint idea or faint memory of what I ordered, but it's been a while. So let's get surprised. I have the package right here. And uh, let's just rip it open, shall we? Dramatic drop. <laughs> All right, so we have a quick list here that's nice. And I also do have a bunch of stickers. Well, this is this is quite a lot of stickers. Um, so I have like four stickers here, because <laughs> why not? Why not double up on the stickers? So uh, we have the normal Buff Bunny collection stickers here. So just the black and white. And then we also do have the one from the Boyfriend Collection here, which is, you know, kind of just like very, like, new tones, fairly basic. Um, yeah, I don't even know what this is supposed to remind me of, you know. I can't really tell what this pattern is supposed to represent, if you if you know what I mean. Um, but yes, so that's what we're dealing with today. I also have 
did get an accessory. So this is the hair claw. Maybe we should just start with that. Um, this is the, yeah, just the hair claw that they were, that came out with the, uh, with the boyfriend launch. And I think it came in four colors and they did send me berry eyes. So this was an extra piece they added here. And I'm very, I don't know, when I was a child, I did wear hair claws quite a lot because that was when these things were in. And now I've seen more and more people wear hair claws again, but like I have very thick and heavy hair, so I don't really know if that's going to work for me. But like, you know, this seems it's fairly big at least. So this is the berry ice color here in the hair claw. And it's kind of like a matte situation. So, you know, like very, very matte color here. Kind of matches my nail polish a little bit. <laughs> it always happens to be like that. And we do have um, a Buff Bunny logo on here, just on that one side. And it's kind of like, like, like it's, you know, I don't know how to say that, but like it's kind of carved in there or something. And then you have like this here. Yeah, like it seems like a heavy duty one. I will give it a quick try. Let's see, I have not worn my hair in a hair claw in such a long time, so I have no idea how you're actually even supposed to do this anymore. Like that used to be uh, past me. Eh, I mean, it's not gonna last forever. I hope you can see it, I don't actually know. But like, it's definitely not gonna stay up. But I think there's probably better ways of doing this. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not an expert at hair cloth anymore. It used to be when I was like 12, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Let's see if I can. But like, I feel like it's a heavy duty one. I mean, at least it's kind of like, it, it's not looking pretty right now, but <laughs> I think, I think I might be able to work with this. Cause I see some of my colleagues wear like small ones. I'm like, how does this work for you? But uh, I guess there's a trick on how to do, you know, deal with your hair. And then also having one that is actually like a little bit more heavy duty. But this one feels like it could be, could be good, you know? So yeah, excited to uh, try this. Definitely would not wear this for a like you know when you're actually moving around quite a lot i don't think that would work for me but of course i also do have quite long hair so then it's even more hair for the hair claw to hold up so yeah that's just a me specific thing but here is the little hair claw and i think now we can move on to actual pieces <laughs> so um i'm gonna pick this one here up like, i just have the bags lying around to my feet now and this is the shape seamless sports bra and berry eyes so i've been excited to try this one i'm not the biggest fan of seamless but they've done it a few times now and this bra just looked very very cute so i was like mm, maybe i want to try this and this berry ice color i'm also not sure about how this is going to look on my skin tone but i know it's going to work well with another color that came out mocha berry which i actually have in a legging so i'm just going to go grab this really fast So here we have the mocha berry color. This is the legacy links that I showed you in that video that I linked earlier. And then I was thinking the berry eyes could be like, that could be like a nice tonal outfit. So yeah, shaped seamless, uh, shaped seamless, yeah, shaped seamless sports bra, exactly. <laughs> just get that paper out. And here we have it. So yeah, maybe this is my, so this is my pale winter skin. Maybe this is a little close, but we'll see it when I have it on. I just hope YouTube recognizes that I'm wearing close. But you know, the berry eyes together with the mocha berry, I thought could could be a look. So let's talk about this piece. I like how it feels. I also always like structured seamless fabric. So you have like this cute, like this cute um, ribbed like pattern kind of like. So this is kind of what drew me in. And then I also like that we have this interesting like kind of seam here under the chest and then how they did the band under as well that's kind of like curved i like that a lot and then we have double straps you know here they're not adjustable but they're quite stretchy and then in the back it also looked cute which is also kind of important for me <laughs> and so we have like this little triangle like detail that comes a little bit lower in the back but yeah here the ribbed used to have this ribbed texture and then the ribbing in the band is a little bit different a little bit tighter but I really, really do like how they did this ribbing like this in the front. So very, very excited, excited to try this. And yeah, it might be as close to my skin tone. It's not exactly my skin tone, you know, but like it's, it's a little bit more pink than that. But we'll see. And then we do have, oh, I didn't even spot the logo. <laughs> we do have this little Buff Bunny logo in here. I hope you can see it. It's right there. Interesting. We also do have removable cup pads. The material is 50% polyester, 42% nylon, and 8% spandex. 
So that's different, very, very different from what they usually do with their Uber fabric, for example. But it feels really nice. It seems very, very stretchy as well. So yeah, I'm excited. I haven't, I think I've tried one of their seamless sports bras, but like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of seamless, so I usually stick with Nuber fabric or the new butter fabric, for example, because um, I think those fit like really nicely and like hug me in all the right places. But let's give it a go. All right, here we have the Shape Seamless Sports Bra in Berry Ice. I think now that I have it on, it doesn't look so, you know, so terrible anymore against my skin tone. It's clearly visible that I'm wearing a top or a sports bra. So I think, you know, mission accomplished <laughs> with that at least. And um, yeah, so not as close to my skin tone as I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm a little bit lighter than that. So yeah. I don't know if that's sad or not, but that's just how it is. Um, I will say it's really, really comfy. I can feel a little bit off the this kind of seam here, like kind of not really under the arm anymore, it's behind. So this one I can feel a little bit, but I'm sure it's gonna get, you know, a little bit better once I've worn this like a few times, just because things usually mold a little bit more to your body after, you know, you've worn it for a few times, so yeah. And I think it's otherwise really, really comfy. It's definitely a little stretchy. I like that we have this low neckline. I feel like it's not as like pushing together as I thought it was going to be, but it still looks cute, but I just don't get a ton of cleavage with it, which is fine. And then you can see this little kind of curve situation here. You can also see the little, you know, structure, texture, and maybe you can see the cup pads a little bit. So this one is also folded. I thought I'd sorted things out, but you can kind of see if the cup pads are not properly done. I think now it's fine. Now you can't really see it, but if they're like folding or something, you will definitely be able to see it a little bit more. Good side boob coverage here. We have those double straps, very, very stretchy. And then in the back, just like low one, we have this like kind of triangle situation there as well. So port wise, I would say this is from yeah, actually solid medium support. Like I am tucked in, surprisingly, you know, like I'm really like, this is quite good. Like less jiggling than a lot of other sports bras. It's so definitely solid medium for me. Well, I think also if you have a bigger chest, it should still be quite supportive. So yeah. And the, like the seam or like there's no seam, but like the, the rib band is not too tight or anything. So it's like really interesting that it, you know, supports so well. Also, I feel like I should try the clasp, the clasp, the claw. Again, the hair claw, right? That's what they call it. I still haven't figured out how to do it best. <laughs> so bear with me, please. <laughs> but let's see. I just wanted to, you know, try it. The full outfit and now I can actually show it to you as well how it's there yeah and you know I mean yes yeah, so when I start jumping <laughs> it's coming undone but uh, I feel like that's okay so yeah I don't know I think there's good ways uh how to wear the the hair claw and there's bad ways and I think this was probably just a bad way but I will say you know it's uh it seems pretty solid. Anyway, back to the sports bra. I also think this one seems pretty solid since it is quite, you know, good support and I like it. And it's like, it's a nice seamless. It feels really good against the skin. It's not itchy or anything. And um, yeah, I just like the the texture of it. I'm just coming a little bit closer again so you can see, like I like this, this look of it. And I'm happy that this color is not as close to my skin tone as I thought. <laughs> Okay, continuing on with the sports bras, I also did get the Ivy Wrap sports bra in black pinstripe. So, A, I was excited for this black pinstripe print. For some reason, I don't really like black and white print prints. I mean, me saying this while I'm wearing a black and white plaid. Um, but also, you know, the pinstripe, I don't know, it's just like, there's something about it. And the Ivy Wrap bra is um, a mixture of the candy wrap bra, which I'm currently wearing with this wrap detailing and the ivy crop top which a lot of people love it has a high neck it has like a really cute strappy back but here we have the ivy wrap sports bra so it's a mixture i was really excited to try this i also so for buff bunny collection my top size is small always or most of the time so i also got this in my normal size small and i am excited to try this i also saw that when some people reviewed the pinstripe it was really really like it's hard to show the pinstripe on camera i think so I can't promise that you'll see exactly like what I mean with the pinstripe. Like it's, it could look like, I don't know. It's, I think it's hard for, for it to see it. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to see if you can see it. <laughs> hello, it's me. Hello, hello. 
but like maybe you can see it a little bit because it's not exactly white on black this pinstripe but it's more like gray on black so it's not as extreme as having the white pinstripe and the stripes are quite thin so yeah i hope you can see it but either way it's kind of cute and it's a little bit more basic um in that way because it is you know still quite dark but this is the cute little ivy wrap bra we also have the same so we have this wrap detailing in the front like you can kind of see that it's the same way that this is doing this basically so this is where it gets the wrap name from but then we have the thin spaghetti straps that go up and down these are also adjustable we love seeing adjustable straps here so that's really really nice and then in the back we have this cute little crisscross so this is kind of the ivy um, wrap portion super nice i like it a lot um also, I don't know if you can see it, but like the light is a little fluctuating because I'm filming in front of a window and apparently the sun decides to show up sometimes and then the clouds cover it again. So if that's, if you can see that and like sometimes it gets a little bit lighter or darker, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I was, I was not expecting a lot of change this morning because, you know, the sun didn't decide to be there, but now it decides to do it. And uh, apparently it has an effect on things, even though the sun is not even shining in here. So yeah interesting just just letting you know but yeah so this ivy wrap uh, sports bra is made from nuber fabric which is like my favorite buff bunny collection fabric so it's double brushed super soft hugs you in all the right places 74% nylon 26% spandex and i am excited to try this little sports bra let's see it on all right the ivy wrap bra so you know as i already mentioned we have this wrap design here that we also had on the candy wrap sports bra this one is definitely less supportive than the candy wrap sports bra so you're not as tugged in i would say it's definitely more of a light support and that is solely at this point because of those thin spaghetti straps i also had to tighten them quite a lot so they're quite long um but yeah i mean you have the option to make them tighter right i showed you there, there is the class situation here but they are quite long and i think you know it would have been nice with like some thicker straps maybe could have also looked kind of cute but i do like it like i think it's cute we have a little bit of a low neck situation so i feel like it would have been with the thicker straps you could have gotten a bit more of a lift as well so now i'm not sure how good it is for um bigger chests because yeah you only have those thin straps maybe i should have tightened them a little bit more even to get a little bit more of a lift out of this but i already tightened them so much so i was like this has to be it for now um but yeah maybe not a, ch a bra for big chests i don't think it is because yeah i feel like you don't get enough support with the because they're very stretchy because it's nuber fabric so it's nice that they're very stretchy but it of course also takes away from how much these straps support you um but i think it's really really cute I was also actually considering getting this in another color still, but I think it's such a cute one. If you have a small chest, yeah. And maybe they could do this again with the thicker straps. I think, you know, that would be maybe a little bit nicer, so it would be a bit more inclusive, but uh, it's still like a little bit long line, but not super long line compared to some other Buff Bunny Collection sports bras. You can definitely see there's a lot of like fallout potential if you have a bigger chest. Um, still not sure if you can see the pinstripes. I'm trying to come a little closer. Maybe you see them because it's really, really hard to tell that there's pinstripe on there. And then in the back, super cute little crisscross design. So yeah, I like that. I think it looks a little bit nicer on the Ivy crop top because there's way more. So, but like, you know, I think it's cute. I think it's a cute little number. And it's also sometimes nice to have up and down straps because one of the big critique points I had for the Candy Wrap Sports Bra was that the straps kind of cut in because they were made from elastic. And now we have straps that are made from the Nuber fabric. So this is kind of what we need to see for the Candy Wrap as well. Um, but yes, I think this is a cute idea. There's a few improvements I would make. But for me with a small chest, it works fine like this. It's nice to have up and down straps sometimes because then no cutting into the traps. And I can definitely wear this for a workout, but yeah, more of a light support, um, definitely some jiggling. I would not pick this for a HIIT workout, um, but definitely like for lifting sessions or something, this for me is perfectly fine. And the pinstripe is a cute look, but let's move on.
All right, let's finish up with the tops. I did not get another sports bra, but I did get a little lifestyle piece, you know, I figured why not? And this was like kind of the only piece that came in an actual like color color. Cause like I said, a lot of the stuff was like nude colors, basic colors, browns, beiges, light pinks. But this one was the actual only piece in the color color. I was like, I have to have this. I need some color. And we do have the boyfriend button up shirt and I got this in pink. Um, so this was already oversized, but I still wanted to have like a more oversized look. So I got this in a size medium, my normal top size is small. We'll see if that was too much or if it was, you know, still good. <laughs> it's still good for me. And this is like basically like a, a button up shirt, cotton. Um, it even comes with this little clasp that keeps the shirt together. It like really feels like it's a men's shirt. But like, of course, like the boyfriend collection, right? It's like kind of taking pieces from, from men's wardrobes. Um, another clip and here we have it I just like this color I don't know I'm not a pink person usually but like I said I was like I, I was like I need a color I need something so I figured why not this also I figured you know together with like the pinstripe outfit maybe this could be something <laughs> I don't know um, but yeah so this is like a, a normal kind of normal button-up shirt let me see I think it is a hundred percent cotton but I want to double check and yes, 100% cotton. We also do have some extra buttons in case you lose your buttons, right? Always important to have. And then right now it looks a little crinkly. So I hope, you know, after hanging this up for a little bit or washing it and then hanging it up for drying, it's not gonna be too crinkly anymore because I don't actually have an iron right now. I have a steaming brush, but I never seem to be able to make it work. Like I've tried to steam things to make them, you know, smooth and streak free and for some reason it just doesn't work i don't know what it is is it me is it the steam brush you know i don't know i don't think it's the steam brush it's probably me maybe i'm doing something wrong but like i don't understand what i'm doing wrong anyway long story short i don't have something to iron the shirt so i really really hope the creases are gone after a wash like when i try it on they'll still have it because i'm not doing laundry before i do the try-ons but still anyway cute little pink shirt we do have a little button a button a little pocket here <laughs> no buttons there i know my dad always loves to have or prefers to have a button here so because he keeps all his stuff in this chest pocket so when he bends over he doesn't want it to fall out you know which i get but like i don't really keep stuff there so i don't really wear shirts with like this anyway <laughs> so <laughs> see another way i'm stepping out of my comfort zone and the pink like i said i i do like colors i'm not usually a pink person but i'm i'm trying you know and i think it's actually really really cute so yeah it's definitely quite oversized so I, I think once i have it on i can judge if the medium was maybe going a little bit too extreme if i should have stuck to my normal size but otherwise i am excited and let's see it on all right and here we have the boyfriend shirt in pink paired with the pinstripe now i know you can't really see the pinstripe that much but it's there and we have the pink with it so this could be i don't know an office outfit i guess then you'd have to button up the shirt you know you could wear the buccal um rosa leggings that you haven't seen yet but it's coming in this video uh with this so yeah this is a shirt and i mean i got this in a medium it is definitely oversized quite oversized but i also think that you know with me getting this in the medium it definitely still fits nicely over my butt here because that's what i'm always worried about when it's like boyfriend style it's not like made meant to fit butts and hips and stuff so then i usually just try to size up a little bit so it does fit my butts and hips and thighs you know and this one does now so i think the medium is actually not a bad choice if you have wide hips a bigger butt or something like that you could size up and then of course you can tie this like a cool person you know like this because I don't think I would ever wear it long it's just not my style uh, but I could wear it tucked in for example but I'm more of a shirt tying person so maybe this is a let me just adjust the microphone I can put it here maybe this is a um you know office outfit of course you can see the pink because the light color is still kind of you can still see the the sports part through a little bit so maybe you could wear a different colored sports bra but yeah it's definitely just just a cotton shirt so don't expect anything like too wild from this but if you're looking for like a little extra like lifestyle piece to style up your activewear or something you know you could go 
have this have this shirt and give it a go. Um, would I spend this much money on it if I had to buy it myself? Maybe not. But it's also, I don't wear these types of things very often. So if you're someone who likes to wear this very often, I mean, this seems very sturdy, but like, it's not my absolute like favorite. Like I said, I just got this because it was the only like really pop of color. And I figured, you know, it could go well with the pinstripe outfit or with the black or whatever. So I just wanted to try it. And I don't have a lot of these heat pieces in my closet. So I can kind of picture myself wearing this like in summer, just throwing this over like a little sports bra just as a little cover up. It's also still very thin as you can see. So it is not keeping you too warm. So I think it would be, you know, good as a little like thing to put on uh, when it's warm outside and the sun is shining and you just want to protect your skin a little. So I think that's good. I will also say the sleeves seem a little short on me. <laughs> so I feel like it should probably be a little longer than this, but it's okay, you know? And um, yeah, so this is like, this is it tied. And then of course, you know, you don't have to do that. You can also just wear it like this. But for me personally with my body type, I don't find this look as flattering as tying it up and accentuating the waist a little bit. And like I said, you could also, you don't have to tie it up. You could also just tuck it in. So there's that. But it is decently long if you don't tie it. But you know, this is my preferred style, so. All right, all right, we are on to leggings. I am excited about this part because all of these pieces I got are new leggings for me. Um, so yeah, really excited about this. Uh, I also, you know, had a hard time picking there because there were so many new bottoms, but I made my choices. And usually for bottoms, I'm in between size small and medium. For Buff Bunny collection, I usually go with a size small unless it is a compressive or like performance fabric where they specifically say it's very compressive and I usually do tend to go a size up, but I also do love my leggings to be compressive. So just, just uh, telling you. And we have the first pair of leggings here. These are the edgy cross waist legging in chai latte. I didn't remember them being called the edgy cross waist legging. I thought they were called the girlfriend leggings. Maybe they're different ones. Now I'm very confused. I am so confused. Let me, I feel like I need to double check this. Let me, let me grab my phone and double check this. Yes, so confusion granted because look, it says girlfriend leggings. Also still gives me price in Swedish Corona, even though I'm not in Sweden right now. So interesting. But yes, yeah, so these are the girlfriend leggings, but on the bag, it definitely says edgy cross waist legging. Anyway, so these are the girlfriend leggings because I was like, this name does not seem familiar. And the color is chai latte. The color, color is definitely chai latte. They also do come in like this black mineral wash, but I figured I want to try something different. And they have this crosswaist and I love a crosswaist, which is why I had to try these. They are like, so they call this a fake crosswaist because it's sewn together. So you can't actually, it's not two flaps of fabric, but you have the seam detailing here that makes it look like a crosswaist. And these are made from the Nubra fabric as well, but they definitely feel like a little bit, like a little bit more stretchy, a little bit more lightweight than the legacy legging, if I, like just a tad. Like, so these are the legacy leggings and these are the girlfriend leggings. They feel a little lighter. So I'm surprised this is, I would have otherwise thought this would be butter fabric, but no, seems to be, um, seems to be Nubra fabric. So yeah, I got these in a size small, chai latte color. A very, very, like, you know, brown for sure, neutral. I thought maybe with berry ice this could also work. I'm not sure 100% because it doesn't have, like, this pink undertone, but I still think it's going to be good. And we do have no front seam. We do have this fake cross waist here with a top seam, but only in the front. So we only have the top seam here in the front, and then in the back, no top seam. Well, I should probably show you the inside so you see, see no top seam. And this is, you know, also, it, like, it kind of looks very like a short, like a short waistband in the back. Like, I don't know if you see what I mean, but like, it looks very short waistband wise. Like in the front, it seems to be, you know, more appropriate. I don't know. But in the back, it seems to be a little shorter. We'll see how high-waisted these are. And then we also do have a V here in the back. Not as extreme as some other V glute seams they've done. So a little bit more mellow. And the logo is stitched in this time, which is also slightly different than what they usually do. We do not have a side seam 
And yeah, ex I'm excited. These are new pair of leggings for me um, and for everyone, I guess. <laughs> well, unless you've had your package for a while longer than me, I guess. But yeah, I'm excited to try these. This color specifically on the American website, at least, is a little picked over. So there's only a few sizes available. Uh, but I think the mineral wash in black is still quite available. Let's see it on. All right, here we have the girlfriend leggings. So first time for me trying these on. Um, I think I do prefer the front seam, or the front seam, the top seam in the back. Because now we have a top seam here in the front. And like you can see a little bit of cutting in maybe. And of course, depending on how you sit and stuff, you'll definitely get that. And then you can see there's most compression here, but not much here. But in the back, I kind of want more, like more something, you know, because this is quite loose here. So I feel like I would have preferred to have that top seam in the back than in the front. Like, you know, I think that's probably a little bit nicer for me personally. But otherwise, so this is the chai latte color. And, you know, you might know that, or you might remember that I tried on the sports bra with my Mocha Berry Legacy leggings. And I'm like, when I was putting on this outfit, I'm like, this doesn't look so different, right? So I was wondering. So we have the chai latte here and Mocha Berry here. So there are definitely different colors, but so the Mocha Berry is slightly darker than the chai latte is. And it's a little bit more warm toned than this. So there's there's the difference for you in case you were also wondering like me. Um, otherwise, these feel like super nice and comfy because we do have, you know, the Nuber fabric. So I like Nuber fabric. This is kind of my favorite, but I will say they feel a little less compressive than a legacy legging, for example, um, except for here, of course, in the front with the top seam. So there's that. I kind of would have been nice to have a little bit more compression here in that lower tummy area, just because, you know, I feel like especially with this um, crisscross design, it kind of draws a little bit more attention to this area, maybe. But otherwise, like, you know, I like these. They're comfy. They're cozy. Um, yeah, I wish there was a top seam in the back just because I feel like, you know, or the back could have also come up a little bit higher. But they're nice and comfy. You know, I can move. I can do everything and it's just like you feel hugged because that's what the Nuber fabric does. We have no side seam here. Lengthwise these are maybe a tad shorter than the 7 8 length on me. And in terms of cross waist it's also not like an extreme cross waist right because it's you know not as steep or whatever you want to say but like it's definitely more of a subtle cross here in the front. So there's that. So depending on if you want it a little bit more extreme, this might not be exactly your gem, but I think it's a nice like kind of thing if you have issues with crossway strolling, because that can happen, because it's not gonna happen with this one, because A, it's not a proper crossway, and B, you have a top seam, which usually helps for things to stay up. So there's that. And then also this chai latte color. Um, I'm always worried with like new tones that it's gonna look weird against my skin. I'm very pale, but I actually think it works for me. Not sure if it washes me out a little bit or not, but like I'm very pale anyway, so there's not much to wash out. And um, yeah, I just think the fabric is super comfy. I wish they would have done either just the top seam in the back or just full on top seam all the way around if, you know. But otherwise I like them. I think they're cute, definitely not, you know, not like there's nothing better than legacy leggings so <laughs> and again right because i mentioned that i found like this looked a little bit low here this uh the band and the waistband in the back but i also feel like this doesn't come up as high on me as legacy leggings do for example so this is definitely not an ultra high-waisted legging it's just an ultra uh, it's just a high waist but not ultra high rise i hope you know that makes sense <laughs> um but yeah the fabric is super comfy because it's newer the fit is good. If you're in between sizes, I would still suggest to size down like I did, unless of course you have most of your weight around this area, then maybe not for me. I have the bigger size down here, so it's not gonna affect how this fits here on my waist. But of course, if you carry most of your weight in your tummy area, you might wanna size up if you're in between because of the top seam here. Yeah, let's move on though.
All right, next up we have the Rosa Bootcut Legging. They came in different lengths, so they sent me regular length. I also did completely forget to specify. And I think the regular lengths should be fine. But depending on, you know, with my height, I'm 5'7 or 170 centimeters, depending on how long my legs are, maybe I needed the long, but we'll see. Um, I think I would have ordered regular for myself. Uh, but yeah, they also do come in short and long, I think. Maybe just short and regular? No, but I think there was three different lengths. You'll find the info in that uh, item description box. But I also did get these in black pinstripe to go with my Ivy Wrap bra. You might have actually already seen them when I was wearing the uh, the pink boyfriend shirt. And here they are. I have to find a way to also show this to you um, with the legs, you know, because I usually have like what you can see me until my knees for the for the bottoms but I feel like this kind of needs needs to be seen also further further down the leg and again like it's a little bit hard to show the pinstripe because it's gray on black so I don't know if you can see it you know I hope you can <laughs> but yeah so these are your normal rosa leggings but then in boot cut version so we do not have a top seam no front seam on these I know they're black so it's really hard to see some of those details but they're black pinstripe <laughs> so and we do have a deep V here for glute detailing as well. The little Buff Bunny logo. And then all the way down here. So it's not an extreme flare, but it is definitely like a little bit of a flare. And we do have a little slit. And now you can also see why they decided to do the pinstripe with gray and not with white. Because this way um, it is not printed on white but it's printed on gray. So if you stretch these out a little bit, it's not going to pull super white. Which I never like when you have black and white prints. It can be really extreme how it pulls. But now you can't really see that it's pulling a little lighter. Because it's like on dark gray. So it really makes sense how they did it. I was actually a little worried that they you know, printed it on white and then because my butt stretches out <laughs> the leggings a little bit more, my butt would look like very light. But this is not going to happen with these. So I'm actually really, really happy they did it like that. And we do have, yeah, just the little pinstripes on there and the Nuber fabric feels fantastic as always. You know, I'm a big fan of the Nuber fabric. And um, But yeah, I would say let's just see these on. I haven't worn boot cut leggings in such a long time. See, now the light from the, from the outside comes in a little bit more. Maybe you can see the pinstrap better. I'm gonna try to use this for my benefit. <laughs> but it's still very annoying. <laughs> I thought if I filmed not in the afternoon because the window faces west, then I would be fine <laughs> from this like light fluctuations. Shows what I know, right? Um, but yeah, I would say, let's just see these on. All right, and let's talk about the Rosa Boot Cut leggings here. So they fit really, really nice and comfy like a Rosa legging does. I feel like a little bit less compressive in this area than usual. So if you're in between, definitely size down. Um, I feel like you usually get a little bit more, more compression, but it's nice and comfy. And then we do have the pinstripe on here. Again, hard to see. Um, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, I don't know. <laughs> nice and high-waisted. We don't have a top seam and we also don't have a front seam. Here's my belly button. Show you how high-waisted these are. And we do have a side seam. Usually Rosa leggings don't have a side seam, but this one does have a side seam all the way down. And you can see the little boot cut here. So uh, I will show you that in a second a little bit better because also we do have a slit here on the side, right? And I would say the regular length is actually good for me. Um, if I wore these with high heels, maybe it would be too short, but I think with normal sneakers it's okay and I also figured you can actually bring these up a little bit higher or pull them down a little bit lower if you need to so that's good and yeah I mean it's not a big flare I feel like it's, it flares out a little bit lower on the calf but first of all they're comfy would I wear these for a workout probably not because I feel like the boot cut kind of would get in the way like the little flare there but let me just bring down the camera a little bit so maybe then I can show you what it looks like so give me a second I'm gonna adjust and make this low. Let's see. Let's see if this is low enough for you to see. Nope, right? <laughs> Not low yet. Not low enough yet. Let's just do one more try. And let's bring it. Yeah, then you can see my little carpet where I'm usually standing on. Perfect. Because then you should definitely be able to see it. So we have the little boot cut here and you can see the little slit there. And you can also see currently it definitely hits the bottom a little bit more than it should but you know when I wear shoes with these should be good yeah what do you think are you like a boot cut person or not I don't know I guess I don't know yet but 
it's fun. It's not too like flowy, but with the slit, it's a little bit more, I guess. And yeah, you can definitely see kind of, I would say starts opening down here. So that's that, yeah. Let me know what you think. Would you wear these? Or uh, do you want more flair? Cause I know like a lot of people like it, big flares now. Um, but yeah, that's that. And let's move on. All right, up next I have a pair of leggings that they actually decided not to launch because of quality issues when some of the affiliates and athletes got them. I still got them because, you know, I ordered it a while ago when they asked about the pieces and I actually was excited because it was a jacquard fabric. So I'm kind of sad that people had a lot of issues with them and I think it was mainly issues with a lot of pilling. So it's good they decided not to launch this along with the sports bra that came with it. Um, I think I'm still excited to have these as like home lounging leggings. We'll see. I can. I guess I need to, don't need to be worried about like having the pill or anything because it's gonna happen anyway. And these are the waffle knit leggings in onyx black, which I also did get in a size small. But just a heads up for you, they did not launch. Maybe they'll try them again. You know, once they fish fish there, once they fix the issues <laughs> in a different launch. And yeah, these are just like you know, lounge leggings. Basically, that's what they're meant to be. The bra that came with it was also more of a loungy sports bra. And they do feel like super, super comfy, very, very stretchy. And Buff Bunny Collection is really good at jacquard fabrics. Like they are, like the jacquard fabrics are just so good. I'm just little, like, these leggings are like, the waist looks so tiny. Well, maybe it's not so bad, but like definitely looks a little tiny. Of course it's a little stretchy, but like, is this gonna fit over my butt? <laughs> we'll see. Cause yeah, I'll still try those on for you cause I have them. So why not? Um, it's hard to see again because it's black, but we do have a waffle texture here. These also were supposed to come in a brown tone. Um, I decided to go for black because if I use these as like home lounging pants, you know, I'm a clumsy person. I spill things on myself and I don't want to have to change clothes every time I spill something on myself. So with darker colors, it's usually harder to see. Although, you know, I can make that work too. <laughs> but these were super interesting because they are a jacquard fabric. They are made from 85% nylon and 15% spandex. And they, I do love textures on leggings and sports bras and stuff. And these have this waffle texture and they just feel so soft. Like if you haven't tried any of the Buff Bunny Collection Jacquard fabrics, you should definitely do that. Um, we'll be seeing another one soon, or maybe by the time you see this video, you will have seen it. I don't think so, but like, you know, you might know that it's coming soon. And um, yeah, I like their Jacquard fabrics for sure. We also do have a stitched in buff bunny logo. Again, not sure if you can see it because it's black on black. And this one is interesting because with the girlfriend legging, we had the, um, the top seam in the front, but not in the back. Here, we don't have a top seam in the front, but we do have one in the back, which I appreciate actually because the last time the Digicart leggings was the flower power leggings, and I love those. But because the Jacquard fabric is a little bit heavier, they do tend to slide down on me a little bit. And having a top seam would have prevented that from happening, I think. So those I have to pull up. I don't mind because I love them, but still, you know, it's nice to have the top seam here in the back at least. They also do have a V here in the back seam, a uh, V glue detailing basically, but no side seam. Um, but yeah, let's not make this much longer because you can't buy those anyway. So uh, let's just see them on. All right, and here we have the waffle knit leggings. It's probably hard to tell <laughs> that there is a difference between the color of the sports bra and the waffle knit leggings because it's black and then we have the black pinstripe. But yes, so these are quite comfy now that I have them on. 
And I, I do like the, the top seam here in the back. So that's what I was saying about the girlfriend legging. I think it would be nice to have that top seam there in the back. It just like makes them stay up a little bit higher there. So no issues with that. And then the front, we still get some compression in the waistband. So I also do like that. It has like a slight V here as well to kind of give you a little bit more compression in the lower tummy area too. But it's not really too compressive around the glutes. So that is good. And lengthwise, 7 8 length on me. So that's also good. And these are very, very comfy. It's just definitely a little bit difficult to get them over my butt. <laughs> so as predicted, you know, because the butt voice was so teeny tiny. Now that I have them on, no issue, but like, it's like a little bit of a pants dance, you know? So uh, just be prepared for that. Or right, I guess you can't really buy them right now. So you don't have to be prepared for that. But for me, it was a little bit of a pants dance. But now that I have them on, I'm happy about them but yeah so I'm assuming they'll be pilling quite fast um, I like the waffle structure otherwise though again it's hard to see because it is black here but it's a jacquard fabric very very comfy this one I feel like is a little bit more compressive than some of the other jacquard leggings that I have from Buff Bunny collection but it's still you know comfy enough it is a knitted fabric very very stretchy and these tend to also not be as squat proof because they are knitted um, so it's just like how the fabric is made, but it is black. So I expect it to be a little bit more squat proof than some of the lighter colors. Um, yeah, but overall definitely more of a lounge legging and, um, yeah, let's see the squat test. All right, it's conclusion time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did shop anything from the Boyfriend Collection um, and if yes, which pieces you shopped or, you know, if you decided to hold out for more fun colors coming. Um, yeah, do let me know. And also let me know if you, you know, which was your favorite piece. I hope you like these pieces, I think. I'm actually quite happy to see like so many new pieces. Um, like. Are any of these leggings topping my top favorite legacy leggings? No, definitely not. You know, that's not going to happen. Maybe we'll see it happen soon, but so far, nothing tops my favorite legacy leggings. Okay. Um, I do love the sports bras. I think they're super cute. Once I get a little bit more tan in, you know, once the sun decides to come back, which it does today, obviously, for the filming, but, you know, when it's actually warm and you can wear less clothes so your skin can get a little bit of a tan. I'm not talking about extreme tanning because I know that's dangerous for your skin, right? But like just, just a little bit, okay? Um, then maybe the berry ice is gonna look a little bit better on my, <laughs> on my skin. I also noticed that the, there is a color difference. So the clasp here, the, or the hair cloth, is supposed to be berry ice and the bra is also berry ice, but clearly there is a slight difference, right? So just, just letting you know. But I don't think it's bad, like they still match nicely so all good um but yes I did love these pieces I'm I'm not still not a bootcut girl but like you know like I said I'm venturing out into different things the ivory wrap sports bra is a cute idea maybe could have been really nice with like some thicker straps as well I'm just imagining like a little bit thicker and more of a sweetheart neckline still the rep detailing still a crisscross I think that would have been even more perfect and um yeah i'm just excited that there were so many new pieces but let me know what you think let me know if you have any thoughts on this i know a lot of you were like oh i want colors <laughs> and so you held out on this launch which makes sense i get it and um you know but colors are coming soon so that's good anyway thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it your thumbs up 
and also subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new videos that are coming out. If you do want to shop off my collection, code RIKA gives you 10% off, gives me also a small commission, but as I said, I'm always very, very honest about my thoughts, and I just happen to love Buff Bunny Collection a lot, so, you know, I don't think I've had a piece recently where I was like, eh, so, you know, there's that. But I also always tell you about the issues, so if you, if you haven't seen what I meant with some of those issues, you can watch my All the Buff Bunny videos, video, it's not videos, it's one video, but it feels like it should be multiple videos, <laughs> because there I talk about, like, everything and I also do mention some of those issues but I also always had, was very lucky with customer service when when I was you know before I got stuff sent to me so I do have some honest opinions there and um, of course now this video is not all the buff bunny anymore because we've had one new launch some mini launches since then <laughs> so at some point i'll have to make an update let me know if you're interested in that but of course it's gonna happen like maybe i can do a wrap up every year it's like oh but all the buff bunny of 2024 or something <laughs> so i don't know, let me know if that's something you'd like to see um otherwise see the sun is coming back again um thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this if you have any feedback any you know, suggestions for different brands, for pieces you want me to review. Maybe you have some dupes you want me to compare to some of the Buff Bunny pieces, stuff like that. Do let me know in the comments down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, see some of the pieces in action there. And you can also DM me there, but I'm way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. So if there's ever anything you want me to see or you want me to know, just drop a comment down below. Otherwise, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.